Yo, it's the word. Shout out to everybody that tapped into the last episode. Saying we back. Episode two, round two, however you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Views from the spot. And today we got a very special guest. One of the hottest up and coming battle rap media outlets. Jim Sparron. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Jimmy G's. Jimmy G's. Jimmy G's. Jimmy G's. What's the word, King? The word, my boy. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. Real shit. Real shit. You know what I mean? Like, you've definitely been, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who been giving me advice and shit, teaching me how to move in this media shit as a new nigga in this shit. So, yeah, I appreciate the uh, the support, my boy. No, no. Nah, no, real right. You know what I'm saying? I know you're a busy man and shit. I was like, yo, I got to hurry up and get him while I can. You yeah, know what I'm nah. saying? Because. I was, you know, I'm just, I was trying to just stay live today type shit on, on whatever platform just so I could keep promoting the interview with ladies. Right. So, but what's the word, bro? Yeah. Nah, I'm chilling though. What, uh, what interview you, you, you got again? I forgot, I'm, bro. I'm interviewing Bill Collector tonight, 9 p.m. on my YouTube channel, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, Battle Thoughts. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Yes, sir. Yes, said, sir. Jimmy Battle Thoughts. Let me, you know what I mean? Let me go tap into that right now. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Like, what what we talking about, bro? You know. No, nah, what's the call? I wanted to ask you, right? Yeah. So you've been in, you like, you said you've been a long time battle fan, like a decade now. What made you, what made you like get into the media? I was like, I seen your page, but like, I just now, like, not even just, not just now, but like, you know what I'm saying, like, you, as far as the battle shit, that's more recent. You know what I'm saying, so like, when you, you mean, I guess, like, like what made you get in the, uh, in the, into the media shit? I guess, bro, I, I just started seeing like a lot of, a lot of niggas in the media, they be capping, they be, uh, you know what I'm saying? They compromise for URL. Not even just URL. They compromise for relationships with, with artists. They not keeping it real on the bullshit that artists and all leagues may do. And it's just like, I just felt like I should start speaking on shit. So I used to just pop out to uh, Spliff and Bars, We Go Hard type IG Live, because that's one of the leagues I've been following for definitely over a decade as well. So I used to pop out there, talk my shit, and niggas like Spliff, uh, Third Degree, Queen Lady, Slime No Best, Wiggins, Captain Live, even you. I feel like niggas just seen like I, at the even if we don't agree, niggas see I I did my homework on this shit, right? Right. So niggas would let me ask questions, and niggas started telling me, "Yo, you gotta." speak your piece on on whatever on this battle shit so that's when i said i'm gonna start going live myself and uh and see and see how how shit could go bro right oh that's fire that's yeah. fire real rap right. because you know it's a lot of a lot of fans be i guess a little like afraid to speak up but feel like they they don't got a voice you know what i'm saying but better rap really not too too mainstream to the point to where niggas not going to see your shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I said, I tell people all the time, Remy Ma done seen my shit and replied to my shit, and that's on Twitter. I only got 149 followers on Twitter. Right. But all 149 of people is like people in the culture that people like Remy Ma will follow, you know what I'm saying? I could I could tweet about Jazz the Rapper. I don't even got a tag her. She going to see the post, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to social media, it really is like, you know what I'm saying, one of them joints is like everybody's going to be in one place. Regardless if they follow you or not, so you having a, a, a impact or just a presence, you don't even need an impact, just a presence. Having a presence in this shit, that's all that really matters for real. For real. So that's, I'm trying, bro. I'm o trying. OTR in the building. Shout out to OTR. Yeah. OTR, shout out OTR, man. I'll need a real. That's a fact. Nah, bro. It's but like, yeah, no. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. So basically, now what you was about to say? like shit is uh shit is wacky, bro. Right? You get you get niggas who get into shit for the wrong reasons. Niggas get into shit and then they may start off telling the truth, 
But then as shit keep moving forward, they try to be friends with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? But you 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 don't gotta disrespect niggas to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? But niggas feel like sometimes if you tell the truth, that you are gonna fuck up a future opportunity. But at the end of the day, that's why that's why niggas got brainwashed to this point. The fans, the artists, everybody like niggas been thinking one plus one is red for so long that niggas forgot one plus one is two, nigga. No, that's a fact. You feel me? You definitely ain't lie. Shit's scary, bro. How do you think it got to that point, though? Like, how do you think it got to the point that, like, it went from... I don't know, because, like, it feel like... It feel like the the essence, as far as, like, the content and the material and the way that, that Bad Rap is presented, it feel like that's always been the same. But the reaction and the engagement from the crowd... And the audience changed. Like I'm saying, it felt like that went on a on like it's on like a downward spiral. You know what I'm saying, what do you? How do you think it like got to that point? Damn, damn. I think I think at one point, bro, niggas used to be fans of of battle rap. Now niggas is fans of people who battle rap. Right? You could always have your favorites. Niggas always had their favorites, but. Like, look at uh, even, like, Lux vs. Cal, right? Even though we know how that shit turned out, and we know Lux was the nigga a lot of niggas was trying to see, when Cal was saying some shit against Lux, the crowd showed love. You know what I'm saying? It's like, over time, I think niggas also grew into, like, a certain style that like a group of weird fans agree was the right style instead of like just respecting the the talent the rapping ability it's just too much smoke and mirrors in this shit that clouded like what what this shit is actually about and we gotta keep it real niggas saying shit like uh if it's not on url it don't count Right, shit like that. That changed a lot of people's mentality too. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a whole lot of shit that kind of it blurred the lines of what battle rap really is. It's like if I'm nice and this nigga think he nice, let's see who the nicest. It's not that no more. I was having a conversation with uh True and D and he had a um he had an interview a couple of years ago and he kind of explained that same exact point, you know what I'm saying? But he broke it down a little bit further and said that he does understand why certain people feel as though, you know what I'm saying? Like if there's somebody who's ranked number 5, they shouldn't really be going against somebody that is ranked 637. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were 637 last week and now you ranked 200 and it's only been four days, all right, I can understand why, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, you know, just off rip, you know what I mean? There, there needs to be some, some type of, you know what I'm saying, discrepancy. But at the same time, the other day, like I was saying, a battler can have five battles and get booked $500 a battle. Without battling on a big league, so you know what I'm saying. Although I feel like it, it, it was a lot of downward slopes, I feel like there's a lot of you know improvements because of how certain people are actually trying to work the better rap economy. You know what I'm saying. So, do you feel as though, even though you know what I'm saying, a lot of people are like being bougie or being divas, do you feel as though that's such a, a critical thing? Do you think that's like really? A detrimental to the better rap community, or that's only going to apply to certain leagues. You know what, bro? I think you right, and true indeed, he right. It, it do got to make sense. It do got to make sense. You do got to have a little like buzz type shit, but see, a little buzz to be able to earn a battle with one of them niggas, right? Cool, that do make sense. But then the thing is this. 
the politics got in play in certain ways where it's like niggas could skip that, right? You got niggas who ended up paying for battles. You got certain leagues that is going to push a nigga who losing or who, who choking and stumbling battle after battle, but give them a big name opponent just because they choose they want to push that that artist. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where right. shit get a little it get it get weird because then I can see why another nigga who actually nice and he do turn up every battle, three, five rounds every time, but he don't got a buzz would feel like, nah, I, I should be getting this type of play too, cause look at this nigga. He's getting these plates and he's he he's not even uh he's not even prepared type shit. So I think the politics made it to where the argument is even more valid for a nigga, especially if they doing their numbers every time they pop out to say like, why the fuck I can't get a shot when this nigga get a shot only because he's getting pushed by people who want to give him a shot, even if he don't deserve it. Right. So again, I'm going to ask, um, do you think that's more on the league or are we giving too much, like, are we putting too much responsibility and too much pressure on the leagues? Like, do do you feel as though the artist doesn't have to take any accountability when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, getting booked and having a presence and having a fan base and being able to up the stock? Or does he solely have to rely on a league to give him an opportunity? Because that is a tricky, to- uh, that is a, tr- a tricky, tricky topic. Because if you ask me, it depends. It really depends like i'm saying it, the answer won't be the same for every battler especially because bro, now there's contracts static, just so you know bro just so you know for your footage it might be a little staticky we good or no it's still staticky yeah just a little bit i don't know if it's just on our end it wasn't like that before that's why i wanted to let you know all right hold on. let me check the stream all right, all right. That's a good question, yeah, it sound crunchy. That shit sound crunchy as hell. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It like just started. I don't know what that is. Alright. Uh, I think maybe you you could probably be even coming back. I think if, even though uh, it's your it's your stream, uh, maybe try that. But I still answer the question though, cause cause it's a good question. But like, I think yeah, you could say it's the artist's responsibility. Damn. Yo, I got my mic muted and I can still hear it. I don't know what it is. Damn. But I muted my mic. It's, I think it's something from both of us, to be honest, because when I got my mic on, it's worse. Uh, I'll leave and come back. Then. Let's try that. All right, hold on. Let me check the stream. My job. Let me see what's going on. Let me check the stream. My job. Let me see what's going on. I mean, that sound kind of clear, but let me... I don't know. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, pull back up, Jimmy. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Deck like that, boy, really on some kind of shit. Yo, speed. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm saying it's it's cool on the stream though. Back, but it might just be I think it's I think it's interference in our shit though. But yeah, um do you remember the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You All asked, right. Yeah, you was asking um is we is we putting too much stock in the league doing this shit, or do we gotta hold the artists accountable for not creating their own buzz? And and I think we do. We gotta hold the artist responsible. I think we do, but at the same time, though, it's like how 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 is the artist supposed to create their own buzz in this shit when it seemed like you could get chosen regardless of talent level to be pushed over another nigga who been putting the work in. Right. And and this is I hate to always put it on URL, but that's the biggest example, bro. They the biggest league. So they gotta set they set the standard, bro, whether we wanna agree or not. So it's like they from what it looked like to me, the niggas who they trying to lock into contracts is niggas who actually don't have that resume if you were underground nigga on the come up. They don't want you to be a nigga who could pull in 100K views on a small channel. They don't want that because that means that nigga got leverage going into this shit, right? So let's say they ended up signing a, a Dougie or pushing a Dougie or pushing a Ish Moolah, right? Niggas like mm -hmm. that who go stupid three rounds, hundred, hundreds and thousands of views on their own type shit. Then that's another person added to the roster that can negotiate for more bread. But if they pick up a nigga from an unknown league, and we're not saying they trash, right? But that's who they decide to push. They could probably give that nigga three battles at a cost that someone with a more built up resume could negotiate for one battle, bro. I think it's all just business. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's really a way for certain niggas to create your own buzz if we talking about URL, right? And it's a right. rare occasion like A Ward, Danny Myers type shit. Even a nigga like Bankhead, right? Who could do shit without a machine. But I don't think that's a fair example because it's not it's not common for, for us to see someone do that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's a so blueprint. What, what do you think? Yeah, right, ahead. yeah. Yeah, it is a blueprint. You know what I'm saying? I get exactly what you're saying. But like, what do you think would cause that issue then as far as somebody picking over picking picking views and business over the talent? Yo, and potential. First, yo, first, yo, first off, Speedy, my boy. You on some journalist shit, bro. Like, I ain't even, I ain't expect this. Like, you. Bro, I, I told you, bro, this is going to be a different type of feel, bro. This views from the spot, bro. You know what I yeah. mean? You know what I mean? The chill spot, that's that's when we, you know what I mean? But when we on views from the spot, you know what I'm saying? It's, I really need to see your actual views on, you know what I mean? Cause especially because you somebody that actually, like, know the culture. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's deeper than just battle rap. Like, you know the politics. You've seen behind the scenes. You've seen the bullshit they're going with other media bloggers and other media pages. You see how, you know what I'm saying? The diva shit that happens on a low tier level, like you know what I'm saying, shit that really shouldn't be happening around in the in the in a more essence, more underground part. The niggas is trying to act like they the bigger battlers. You know what I'm saying, and you've seen that, so you know what I'm saying. I can ask these types of questions that you're gonna see exactly where I'm coming from with it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I appreciate this shit, man. I have to think this much in a in a battle combo in a minute, but so. So then, so you said, when did it change from niggas worrying about pushing whoever they want to push for, for their business and not the talent type shit? So, yeah, like what caused that? Like, what was the catalyst? Because honestly, I feel as though they kept picking talent and potential over the name. The names wouldn't be asking for so much money because they they'd be able to be like, damn, yo, I'm disposable. Yeah, I can pull in a hundred k, but the next person might pull in a hundred fifty. 
You know what I'm saying? But they ain't moving in that direction. So what do you think caused that? I think I think the the one thing that caused it at first was it got to be when URL started feeling like they wasn't getting enough bread off YouTube. They wanted to go to an app, right? And then when you go to an app, the you spending before caffeine, I mean, gave them that bag, right? URL, when you go to the app, you spend it what you make off subscriptions, right? That's that's your budget right there. How many people can mm-hmm. subscribe and continue to pay? So I feel like what they started seeing is that they got enough paying customers, right? That's a loyal fan base to give them enough bread to make a profit but at the same time they want to book niggas right not even book niggas but sign new artists for the next generation who whose bag they can control so that they profit keep going up right it's not even about no more they don't want to make another star who like hitman holla he can go to rbe uh hollow he can go to rbe cal he can go to rbe they want to make somebody who could be a star but they a star to url's paid subscribers type shit and they can continue to battle on url and feel as though my my status in this shit that keeps going up on the most respected league is owed to URL. So they don't have outside leverage of showing, I went over here and did 500K. I went over here, did 600K. I went over here, did 300K or a mil and keep increasing their bags. They got to control people's bags in order to make sure they keep making a profit. And that's what I think happened, bro. They wanted to figure out a way, and they saw the app was a way to make a consistent profit where it's all in their pockets. But they got to control the bag of the artists that they signed. So they keep making a profit. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about profit is what it seemed like to me for URL. Right. So, So speaking on URL, right, how long do you think they can keep moving like that when everybody's doing that now? You got leagues that have... 400 subscribers channels that is not monetized but they have enough money to book talent like a ward and the saga mm. both names to get took get, they get booked by rbe and url so when you have leagues that aren't monetized that can pay for battles like that how much longer do you think url is going to be able to move the way that they're moving there's only but so much time that's going to pass until Niggas get Geechee. I'm like, I bet we already got them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But it's only but so much time before a league like Hit List and the Siege get somebody like Loaded Lux. See, and that's you know what I'm saying? Then, then, then you're not going to have to have URL for real, for real, because then the small league's going to be dropping them drones extra quick. Yo, we just got Lux. We dropping this battle tomorrow. See, bro. And low key, this is the type of shit that niggas like you, uh, uh, Spliff, like, y'all to really be kind of teaching me in this shit. Cause it's like, if I, I'm looking at it like, I'm looking at it like this, right? I had a conversation last night with this nigga named Smoker NY. So he, he's, He's talking about how he started rocking with the artist, the baby, right? So he's like, yeah, I didn't know who this nigga was, right? But I start hearing this nigga here and there and there. And then I tap in and I'm like, okay, this nigga tough. And then how I look at it is the same way for battle rap. If shit is on YouTube, right? It's a chance for one of one of those type of fans who, who's like, oh, I don't know who this nigga is, but this league had 
uh, a verb or, or move on their card. So I subscribe and now I see that this battle dropped and now I'm gonna watch this and now I know who this new nigga is. If you just stay on the app and you just promote to the same people who are paying for the app that core loyal fan base, bro, it's not, I don't see it being possible for you to keep picking up the random fans who just randomly hear about another, a new nigga, bro. It's not possible to me. So my answer is, I don't know how long it's going last, but what we see seeing is they got a core fan base who will pay for the app that they believe in, that they believe will last and last and last. But at the same time, I was part of that core fan base and I wasn't rocking with the way they was running the app. And I unsubscribed from the app last year in like November, bro. And I don't think I'm the only person who's doing that. So I think it's either the fan base is either going to stay the same size for URL or it's going to keep shrinking until it gets to a point where they have the diehard loyal fans and it's just going to stay that size. But I don't think URL give a fuck if the money is good enough from the paid subscribers, bro. So I don't really got an answer to the question. I don't know how long this shit could last, but I don't see them picking up more fans who just start hearing about somebody because this battle went viral over here. You can't even post clips from the app on any other social media channel. These artists can't even promote they shit from the app to go viral. So I don't see them picking up enough of the random fans to help grow the fan base, bro. I I don't know, bro. What do you think, though? Like, can this shit... All right, that's, that's what I was going to ask you, because you also mentioned that um a lot of fans now are fans of the actual battlers and not the leagues so much. So do you think... So actually, you don't think that it's beneficial for, like... For, for for that blueprint to be laid out that way, because think about it, right? If an artist that you have can get a one rounder on six different leagues in one week, regardless if they show up and do good or not, you don't think that would in turn lead to those fans of that artist going to the the app? Because if I got thirty battles on the app and two battles on YouTube. If I impress you with those two battles, you don't think that you as a fan of me would pay for the URL app to watch 30 of my battles, $8.99 a month, even if you only subscribe for one month? Okay. Now, I think, yeah. I then think it's like, then, you know, there's always a hook. If I got you on the hook, can I have you for three months? Can I have you for four months? Can I have you for six months? Can I give y'all a free event on caffeine real quick so y'all can come back to the app? You know what I'm saying like even though I feel as though that it's a it's a bad way to go about it, I see what they're doing and I can see it working because that's like the blueprint for almost any large mainstream company. But I just don't think they're gonna have the same fans. I think they're only gonna keep having new fans. You know what I mean? Cause like there's eight billion people in the world, right? So if you have a hundred thousand new people every month, literally getting replaced. All right, we got a hundred k this month. We got a different hundred k that month. But that those two hundred k, they're never coming back. After three months, they're never coming back because they don't like our tactics. So after you run through eight billion people, you're gonna be up a certain amount of money, and because of your your numbers and your popularity, other companies are gonna want to work with you just because you monetize and you got a platform and shit like that. So like. I can see it working, but you know what I mean, you don't think it would be beneficial? I think what you said makes sense, but I also think it depends on the battles that they even let these niggas take off URL, right? Like, you get situations mm. where, you know what I'm saying, right? right? If they take these certain names, I don't know how many people is going to say, oh, now I'm going to pay for the app now because of this, this, and that, right? Because I still think, let's just say True Foe battle a nigga, it do 20-something views. And not just True Foe, any nigga that they sign. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to, I don't want to 
put a name on it, right? But and they do 20, 15k views. I could argue, bro, that those is the motherfuckers who's already paying for the app, bro. Now look, if the nigga, if somebody gets a battle on a league where like easy to block captain, where he could go battle for Hitman versus, you know what I'm saying, uh, on another league and he get a milli and then he go back to the app. Yeah, I could see a group of people who never heard of this nigga out of that milli saying, yeah, now I'm going to definitely go see what, what homie got on the app. But at the same time, that's what I was saying before. Once you do that, bro, you can go back to URL and negotiate more bread. And they don't want that, bro. It depends on the battles they even let niggas take off of the platform for me to say, okay, that is going to make a difference to they will bring more motherfuckers to that app with that battle. But they don't want niggas to be able to do shit like that because they would have to start paying niggas more money. Right? Once your stock go up, the, the bag go up, bro. And they cut into that profit and they're not marketing to people to keep growing that fan base at that rate for URL to even feel like they want to start letting niggas increase their brand and get paid more. You feel so me? So do you think like, the URL... Yeah, yeah so, so let me follow up with this. Do you think the URL can survive strictly off of the fans' money? Bro, it's looking like they might be able to. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. They might be able to do this shit. But then we got to know I'm saying like, because right because like in the long run, right? If they're consistently losing fans, the app is, isn't going to be able to pay for battles. I feel as though the app isn't already paying for battles. Even if they got 10,000 fans, 10,000 fans per month. You know what I'm saying you might think that's 100 bands. But when you got battles, that's for 10, 20, 30, 50,000 for one battle. How much do that 30K mean? Like I'm saying, how much do that 90K mean? You know what I'm saying then it's like. Are the battle is lying about their price so that they can get a higher price point for a one rounder on a smaller league? Are they fabricating views to make it seem like they're worth more than what they actually are? Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, now it's like you got to look deeper. You got to cut deeper. Like, you opening wounds, you opening mirrors, you, 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 you knocking down books and bookshelves is, is opening and shit. Now there's secret passages and it's all types of curtains and shit like that. It's a whole nother can of worms. You know what I'm saying? So now we really getting into the meat of it. Now that we done dispersed what the what the fans job is, what the artist job is, and what and what the and what the platforms are supposed to be doing, how is how is the culture gonna survive financially from this point? Because leagues like we go hard, I feel like they're pumping out more money than, than they're bringing in. And they're really the backbone to, to battle rap. So a lot of their artists they have to rely on getting paid off of other leagues instead of we go hard. You know what I'm saying? We go hard to give them the footage. They'll give them the clout. They'll give them the views. They'll give them the uh, the gas. They'll give them the clips. You know what I'm saying? They're making bars of the month. You know what I'm saying? So they're giving them all the tools and resources necessary. But financially, what can battlers do more to ensure their, like, income? Now, Speedy, see? And that's why, that's why, bro, when I be having these kind of conversations, bro, I try to try to be like five years down the line because I agree with you, bro. At this point, I don't even think they using at bread right now. I think they got a bag from caffeine. They had a little situation and they are using caffeine bread still, whatever may be left in the budget. And the at bread is the profit bread, right? So now when you say shit like that, we got to look at, we know caffeine is clipping for a relationship with URL, right? Like I said, only three artists got re-signed for caffeine. We see it's less and less events on caffeine. That means it's less of a of, of budget being given to URL from caffeine. And now that we see that, now what do we got, bro? No impact. You feel what I'm saying? They they already went public saying it's budget cuts, shit like that. So it's it's I don't even think it's about right now, bro. 
I think it's about five years down the line. Because if they don't grow, they paying fan base for the ad. And the caffeine bag gets dried up. Then we get to see how they move off of strictly at bread. And and I don't know, I don't know how it's going to work, but we already see budget cuts. We already see shit going on right now, though. Like, it's already happening. So it's like, I don't know, man. Do you, do you see, do you see caffeine picking up another, another league? Like you see RBE making a deal with caffeine. You see we go hard making a deal with caffeine. We go hard X caffeine. Crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Chrome twenty three. Like didn't Four. they say what, what was the number? What was the number they said they raised for the uh the caffeine budget? Ten mil. Uh, um, a couple like million, more, right? I want. I thought it was more. I thought it was more. I thought it was like they got like a. I don't want to over gas it, bro. But I thought, bro, whatever like, number you, whatever, whatever number you think, just let me know. What I remember was somebody. Cause the example I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it down. Cause I think ten mil, even if it's ten mil. So like, I mean, what you thinking? Like fifty, a hundred, twenty, twenty-five. So I remember hearing at least a fifty mil investment was given to caffeine, but. I also know, right, a lot of people tried to say that was all for you. Well, no, that was for caffeine as a whole, for their whole shit. And they had to right. divide it up among who, who they pushing on caffeine. So whatever it was, bro, that number wasn't all going to you. Well, so let's say it was 50 or 100 or something. I would say I wouldn't be mad at saying 10 mil was investing in you. All right. And even if it was five mil, that's still good bread. You get what I'm saying? All right. So let's say let's say you give We Go Hard five mil, right? Even with all their expansion leagues, you got She Go Hard. Then you know, you know what I'm saying City and Troy Martin, they'll fuck around and be like, "Yo, you know what I'm saying let's get third in on it. Let's get you know what I mean certain people on there. You know what I'm saying they show love to the whole New York Mo Moolah. You know what I'm saying." Even if they get, you know what I mean, Kylie niggas on there, you know what I'm saying? So let's say we go hard and get the whole package deal. Caffeine make a, a five, $5 million deal with the whole entire New York. Damn near the whole city of New York better at, right? Only five mil. Do you think they would have, one, more stars, and two, would it be more profitable to have a deal with we go hard over, over URL? As of right now, if they had to re-sign... And there's five million on the line. Are you signing URL or are you going to uh, to a new league? Even if it's not, we go hard. To me, bro, uh, I think it it comes down to that budget, and also is you push it on YouTube as well, bro? Because you gotta reach the YouTube market to me as well to be able to just reach the random motherfucker bro because if they do get a bag like that and let's say the we go hards or the sieges and all them type leads start being able to book uh tay rock versus ish moolah right nigga like shotgun shug versus dougie shit like that then i could see that absolutely being profitable and making and making a, a wave in this shit because you have to add in the 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 reality that if you do book a lesser known artist and or you tap into a lesser known league, you still gotta tap in to the hitmans, the arsenals, the clips, and all of them niggas to make and put it on YouTube so that all of they larger fan bases can look at the battle, have access to that battle. Uh, a nigga could be watching Wildin' Out highlights and then a Hitman battle versus motherfucking uh, whoever on uh, a D Dub, let's just say, or, or you go on We Go Hard, right? And then they go click on that. 
And then they see a D Dub going crazy, and they say, "Oh, okay, let me tap into this nigga. Let me subscribe to this league. Let me see what they're doing on caffeine." I think it all is got to be multiple platforms at once that have a lot of reach to keep building bigger and bigger fan bases. It can't just be one platform. That, that's what I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so who you think? Who you think the king of YouTube right now? Uh, I gotta go with RBE right now. If I'm saying like what what league get put put out my favorite battles, then it's We Go Hard. But if I'm talking about quality, in addition to numbers too, then I gotta go RBE right now today. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Nah, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Like that's yeah. Damn. What do you think? What do you think? Well, like, I ain't gonna say better rap is broken, but what do you think? No, I got a better question. Do you think regularly in better rap should be a thing? 401ks, W2s, you know what I'm saying? Official contracts, hiring employees, actual staffing, you know what I'm saying? I think you know, buildings way. for podcasts, office but office spaces and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Actual venues, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's if it's funded by the city or by the government. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Higher officials would have to be involved. You know what I'm saying? Right now it's unregulated, you know what I'm saying? You don't really gotta pay taxes. You gotta pay taxes, but you don't gotta pay taxes off rip, you know what I'm saying? You know I mean, like it's shit like that. Like you know I mean, it's more of an under the table type thing. Do you think regulating battle rap should be a thing, regardless if it's going to be beneficial or not? Damn. Should should be. I don't know. I don't know if I could commit to saying this should be, but I think one way that I've thought about like regulating shit. Is like, especially as like certain leagues, bro. Niggas need like salaries, like salaries by tier, right? I think that may be able to cut down on some bullshit. People feeling like, oh, I'm not getting what I deserve. This and this and that. Like, I think at the, I think maybe something like that. Like, you do this amount of views this amount of times consistently then you in this five five thousand dollar bracket you go up a certain amount it's a seven thousand dollar bracket go up a certain amount you get the 10 10k bracket i think something like that is maybe a way to cut down on shit but that that's tough to say bro because these niggas is that's, I would say it got to go by league, bro. I don't think it could be over the entire culture, bro. I don't think so. It has to, so, so it has to go by league because some leagues do offer more of an opportunity. All right, so let's say let's say I just got a business loan, right? Right, you know what I'm saying? And I want to, you know what I mean? And now I'm in better rep and I got $500,000 budget. But I ain't got no battles out. I'm looking for talent. You know what I'm saying? Should it still go by league? Even though I got a big, you know what I'm saying? I got a large budget. It's a big market for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a shark. You know what I'm saying? I got my branding and everything. I even got commercials. I'm on TV. You watch a YouTube video. You see one of my ads. You driving down the highway. You see my billboard. You know what I'm saying? Do I not get... A, a, a fair opportunity like like URL or do I gotta go holla at Smack and Beasley if the politics stay the way they are right now then 
yeah, you probably do got to go holla at the niggas, bro. The niggas is moving like Jay Prince. Niggas got to check in, bro. It, like, that's just how it's going to go. Or else the certain battles that you may want to book will not be able to go down. So at that point, you got to figure out what artists you can use. And you probably got to, like, let niggas know off rip. This is my budget. This is what I'm paying niggas to do this amount of views. This is what I'm not paying niggas. And you may have to lawyer up, too. I don't know, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's say, let's say, let's say I'm a trust fund baby. I got a ten million dollar budget. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the suburbs. Yeah. These politics that people is talking about, niggas base it off of street values and fake morals. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that. I'm a trust fund baby. My daddy was a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Only politics he taught me about was from niggas that wear suits, niggas that's on TV, niggas that know Donald Trump, niggas that, you know what I'm saying, took trips out to your man. Beasley and Smack probably know something about that, but I know for a fact that I can pay for his league. I know that if I want to buy out URL, I could. But instead, I want to start my own league and I want to run things the way that I want to run it from the ground up. But the way these politics is running, I feel as though I can't into better at. Right? Now, let's say I go on a huge press run. I go on media. Yo, smacking BZ is black following me from battle rap. They cock blocking. I got a hundred mil. I ran out for a hundred M's and these dumbass niggas talking about something. I need to holler at them. I don't even want to book nobody on URL. They just know that I'm a driving force. And, and I'm based in Arizona. Ain't no Arizona battle leagues. URL book. URL got 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 events booked in Arizona. Listen, we got we printing out T-shirts. We we printing out merchandise and everything. You sign to us, we got you covered. We like the NBA. We the real NBA. URL not making T-shirts and merch for they for they for they artists. We doing that though. We dropping, we dropping on YouTube too, but they blackballing us. All right, so then I, I will have to ask you this then, because would you feel like at that point you gotta book, you gotta book the cows, the clipses, all those type of niggas, like. Yeah, I want to. I want to, right? Right, look, because cause it's mainstream, right? And I'm from the suburbs, so I don't know nothing about We Go Hard. I don't know nothing about Gates of the Garden. I just know URL. I want to book them. Why do I got to go through Smack and Beasley? If anything, I should be able to buy their contracts for that, but I just want to book them. Why they get a piece of the cake? You know what I'm saying? They ain't doing no... They ain't printing out these flyers. They ain't doing this merch. They just want parts. Now, see, now once you get into that, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lawyer up and deal with politics, but this battle rap shit not regulated. That's what I gotta do. I gotta lawyer up, but I can't, you know what I mean? We can't regulate battle rap. We can't have a whole foundation, a whole, you know how they got the sports association and the boxing foundation and all that with everything going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, there needs to be some type of supreme ruler over top of battle rap to actually, you know what I mean? Even if they, have nothing to do with better rap, even if they're actual politicians, even if they're actual lawyers that went to college and, you know what I'm saying, studied at different types of places and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're businessmen that, you know what I'm saying, just interested in an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? We might have to deal with people that have no idea what's going on in better rap, but they know how to make money. They know how to keep people getting paid. They know how to profit off of everything they do. They can pay for our commercials. You know what I'm saying they can put us in in, in in situations that Smack and Beasley can't. Why do they got pay Smack and Beasley to put us in, in situations that Smack and Beasley can't? Smack ain't, you know what I'm saying, earn that. Nah, nah, I think at that point, bro, when you're talking that type of bread, 
you don't have to go through Smack and Beasley because you would be able to book the niggas who don't got to check in with Smack and Beasley, right? It's certain niggas who can go anywhere they want. And when you no, but I wanna that, I wanna book people that got I wanna book people that just so happen to have contracts. They have contractual obligations to Smack and Beasley. That's the that's the issue. That's that black and white, that paperwork. That paperwork that everybody like to rap about. Once that paperwork come up, shit get real quiet. So it's like now, you know what I'm saying? They trying I mean like the NOB situation, the RBE situation. What if I'm just a new person and I know I got all this bread to waste on lawyers? If URL is at trial with me, just over me attempting to book talent and they're wasting all their money, I'm just taking them to court until they run out of money now. Now they can't even pay their talent. Now they, you know what I mean, they don't wasted all the budget. I mean, that's probably where all the money from from caffeine came from. That that caffeine money went straight to the lawyers. Sean Battle, Norbs, and Adam. That's different. You know what I'm saying? So like now that money get dried up and all your talent, even Tay Rock, Tay Rock over here begging. Yo, listen, man, spirit change, spirit change. His stock dropped to twenty five dollars. You you give him an eighth, a backwood, and an Uber, he'll find his own ride home. Trying to tell you, what if it get that detrimental? If Battle Rap was regulated, Tay Rock would have retirement plan. He been he been he been battling for the longest. He done grew into his hat. He fit his hats now. Grew into that. The hat is crazy. Fact though. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, like I'm saying, like remember the other day, yeah. they said they stopped watching. My man said he stopped watching battle rap because clips and Casey and Hitman and Sharon, they all went the wilding out. I mean, they went to chase that guaranteed money. Them royalties, the percentages, you know what I'm saying? So, like, while now it's regulated. There's a network, there's the FCC. You got to go through a lot of people, but they still get paid a lot more money than what Smack can. Smack not going to have uh, 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 Nick Cannon on, K- on stage every night at a guaranteed time. He barely starting his own battles at a guaranteed time. So if we putting that much pressure on these big leagues, do you feel as though they need more help? Because Smack and Beasley can only be helped for 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 for, for so much. Like honestly, they're only with two people. Now they did put that burden on themselves, but I mean, if if we had some type of foundation or something, you mean maybe maybe it'd be a little different. They wouldn't have to worry about that. You can, you can put that on in the hands of people that actually know how to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Because Smack and Beasley, if they dealing with the battlers all day, how they gonna read a book on 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 law? You know what I'm saying? How they gonna go to college for? You know what I'm saying? They gonna need to hire people. Do better rappers need accountants? Like you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. Do they need agents? You know what I'm saying things of that sort. And then it's like, who's going to do that job? Because if they work a nine to five, who's going to pay them to manage somebody? Who's going to pay them to overlook somebody's account without stealing? If you're getting paid 50000 a battle, like you say, and you want me to be your accountant for free, this can't be no internship. What what opportunity am I going to get from working for you for free when I know that I could take this money from you and I'll be up 50 racks? And we both from the street, so I know you're not going to call the cops. So it's like, I mean, battle rap is a shasty game. A lot of the stuff that happens in battle rap, people don't want to call out because they feel as though it's corny. You know what I'm saying? It's policey. Whole time, it's like, it's professionalism. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't being professional, I mean, if you want to take it to the streets after you not being professional, you want me to take the tie off? You want me to take the tie off? That's what you want me to do? Like, we got the button up with the suit and the blazer. You want me to take this off and roll up my sleeves? That's going to be nasty work because it's like you forget where he came from. He ain't forget where he came from. He'll take the tie off. He don't need this job. But you know you need better it. So it's like what you know what I'm saying? Like, would it be more safe? Would it be more beneficial? Would it, you know what I'm saying? Like, would it be 
would it actually be some something to do? Because I feel like battle rap ain't a career. I feel like you're taking a huge risk if you battle. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the leagues to own a league. Oh, I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't looking at no pockets. But me personally, I don't see where where that's at. If I put myself in their shoes, I don't see where that's at. Besides having a good battle, having a memorable battle, or just the potential of going viral. But I'm not putting my money into that. I'm trying to go viral for free, getting everybody else. Bro, that all that shit you explained, bro. I think that is what you're seeing with Rami Ma. Right? She got enough bread to do what she did, book the Hitman Easy battle, right? And then URL send that cease and desist situation type shit but guess what Remy got the bread to say okay you want to go to court I can let's go let's go to court my nigga let's see who can last the longest keeping these boys on retainer right cause you got them on retainer for Norb's situation you got them on retainer for the ARP situation already I think what you said and is what right. needs to happen when somebody has to come in with the amount of bread that can stand ten toes down against whatever bullshit URL may try to try to you know what I'm saying throw at them, and that is what I think we're seeing with Remy, someone who got that the capital to say, no nigga, y'all not about to bully me into no bullshit. We gonna see who could be the bully the longest, right. That's it, bro. That's what it comes down to, bro. I'm glad you brought up Remy Ma because I was wondering what's next because, like, they still dropping old battles. Like, you know I'm saying battles, like, events that happened months ago, they still dropping that. So it's like they holding on, they stretching out the content, but. How many more battles do they have that's going to drop that people are going to be interested in watching? I'm like, they satisfying their viewers. They got 70,000. I think they got 70,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Then it's like, I feel like uh, 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 Chrome 23. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, yeah, yeah, they got 79,000 subscribers. That's it? And they got 6 million, 6 million views. And half of those views came from Hitman and uh, Easy. So, oh my goodness, bro. so uh, Irv in the building, shout out to Irv. But you know what I'm saying it's like my question is, what's next for for Chrome 23? Because after realizing that they couldn't really make too much money off of the females, they paid way more money than they would pay any female, regardless if it was a tournament or not, to two males to give them. You know what I'm saying half of the views that they got right now. I'm saying, so are they just stretching the content so they can collect checks for another event, or you know what I'm saying, like, what what do you feel like they doing? You know what I'm saying, cause me personally, I feel like I feel like they ran into a brick wall trying to play that lawyer game. I, feel, okay. I mean, once I once I heard niggas was battling on an all female platform within the first year, like I'm saying, that was what like the third event, second event. Saying you had the first event, then I think you had the tournament, then you had that. You know I'm saying the tournament was only 25k. You know what I'm saying yeah, that, it, it sounds crazy. that battle, only, that battle, you're right, it's only 25k fast, exactly. And that battle alone probably cost like a quarter mil. Oh man, see, but this is the thing though, Speedy, right? Because I hear other people say that too, but. They haven't ever thrown so far more than three events in a year. So I can't say it's a brick wall yet until they go a year where they only throw one event. Right? They they ha- It's not like they do four or five events, six events a year, and then now all of a sudden they just did one. Now they've done three the year before, and that was their first year. This year they only did one. Now if they only do one... Yeah, I think, you know what, maybe it is a brick wall. But we got to wait and see if they throw another one yet. I'm going to give them that benefit of the doubt first for me. 
All right, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, but like, what you think is next, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, we waiting. Well, what they what they doing? You know what I'm saying? What we waiting for? They ain't got no announcements. Remy ain't did no interviews. Right. Hope Trilly, you know what I'm saying? I understand she having a, a baby and all that, but like, nobody's like talking to any, nobody's talking to Caution. You mean Caps don't got Caution up there? Caution like, who? He kind of Caution, Caution. Which one? Wait, but which RBE, one? RBE Caution. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought, because I was going to say, Lady Caution, she's not going to Chrome because she. No, but I'm yeah. saying, because like, as far as Chrome 23, there was a couple of couple of battlers that, you know what I'm saying, had memorable years last year, and nobody's, like, even doing so much as an interview with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not promoting anything. I don't see what their battlers are doing. And they had great opportunities. They're getting, like, 30K-plus views on their battles on Chrome 23. So it's not like it's nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? The ladies pulled together 3 million views on Chrome 23 before... Hitman and Easy had a battle on there, so. Yo, speed. Do we see, do we see hustle on Chrome Twenty Three, uh, in in the near future with with Remy situation with URL because of the Easy shit, and she is hustle big sis and hustle has been on the Chrome event so far. Do we see hustle on that next Chrome Chrome event? Because that's how we know if shit is really getting sticky. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, is she about to be boxed out? Because it looked like she could get through the box out. But like you saying, no, it, that shit probably did cause, cause Rim. The event as a whole, definitely, I'm saying quarter mil, quarter mil type shit, bro. And if they don't throw another event, I agree. Maybe they did hit a brick wall. And I think if we see Hustle on, on Chrome again... Then maybe we see like Remy moving through anything. They don't throw another. All right. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on that? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think Remy is capitalizing off of her position? Mm, uh, do you think she's doing enough to expand her brand and really let her presence be known? She already got more subscribers than Caps, if I'm not mistaken. She do. Angry fan got like seventy eight thousand subscribers. She got seventy nine. I'm saying so. It's like you already bigger than one of the biggest bloggers in battle rap, if not the biggest blogger in battle rap. So you know I'm saying, and you got pet poos on your like. You know I'm saying y'all can go viral like twice on some battle rap shit. A little thirty second clip of y'all just. You know I'm saying doing some some battle rap argument, whatever type shit. You know I'm saying on some skit shit. And you gonna uh, go from seventy nine thousand subscribers to a hundred thousand subscribers, hundred fifty thousand subscribers. You know what I'm saying, like she can pull three million views on her own. She don't need Hitman and Easy to pull three million. She don't even need the ladies to pull three million. But the ladies did it. The ladies pulled three million. You heard? <laughs> what would you so need to like, see to say she capitalizing? What would you need to see to be positive that she is? Capitalizing? Her face. Her face. I don't even see tweets for her for real. Got you. Fact, let me open up Twitter, right? Let me open up Twitter. So you're saying she don't even believe in the shit that she started saying. It's a, it's a I ain't going to say that because she's real tactical, you know what I'm saying? But what I will say is she's not, I feel like she's not doing anything at all. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said I want to give, give uh, Ren the benefit of the doubt. Cause she's never thrown. I don't. I don't even. Nah, she did throw three events last year. She had the the uh, uh, Couture verse hustle shit. She had the she had the hustle verse Vixen event, and she had the the members the women. So she did, did throw three. She threw three. She threw three last year. Now this year she only threw one so far. Niggas do a uh, season assist. Event calls wild bread, and we ain't seen, we ain't seen it since. So I don't know. It, it, it might get muddy. It might get muddy for, for, for uh, it might get muddy. Is it Chrome Twenty Three bigger than Queen of the Ring? Um, today, right now, 
Yeah, I got to say, yeah, because they book bigger battles than them, like, more consistently within the last two years. I got to say, yeah, bro. Got to. Queen of the Ring fumbled, yeah. fumbled back. Yeah, I say, I say the same. Yeah, I think Queen of the Ring fumbled back. Yeah. Who who you feel like who you feel like regardless if it's a league or just a single battler, who do you feel as though is either next up? Like as far as doing all their work that they doing or somebody that deserves a push that you know what I'm saying isn't being recognized for their talent. Mainstream, you know what I'm saying, URL, low tier, volunteer, you know what I'm saying? First year, three battles, thirty battles, three hundred battles. You know what I'm saying, yeah. ten years, two days. Any yeah, league yeah. or any singular battler. I got two. I got two artists that I, whenever they drop, I tune in, and they always show up. They always do their numbers, and it always seemed like they right on the edge of like becoming one of one of them like in, in the mainstream weird fan head ass views. You know what I'm saying? The ones who will reach all them weird niggas. Respectfully, respectfully, right? Not weird niggas, but like the brainwash group, right? Cause once you reach the brainwash group as well, I think that's when you you just start Get, getting a little more motion, but I got two man, and, it's, and one of them people don't people don't really like, but homie tough to me. But I named the the more obvious one first. It's Moolah, obviously, right? I feel like he's always like on the he last year. I think he had one of the top six battles of the year to me versus the Saga, and I think the year before that he had one of the top fifteen battles against quantum physics, right? And both of them is names with with like motion, you know what I'm saying? But the battles ain't get the traction that I think they deserve. So that's one. And then the second one is, is Bankhead, bro. I think a league- I agree, league, Bankhead is very underrated. Come on, bro. If a league put a machine behind Bankhead, bro, but he has too many battles with over 300, 400 thousands of views per battle to where the nigga could ask for a bag that a league is not gonna, gonna be able to feel like they want to give this nigga, bro. Like that, I think he has hurt himself, like in a good way because he could negotiate. A bag because of the the numbers that he's done already. Like them two for me is is the ones. Niggas talk about a word and shit. Bankhead, he moved in a similar way, bro. Like, but he don't get that push, man. I don't know what it is. Shit weird. But those two for me. I bet. Yo, you gonna be surprised when I say this, right? Yeah. I like the I like the the switch that Easy made. The replacement battles. I like it. Really, bro. Really. For real. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually glad to hear Rosenberg that. Raw versus Danny Myers. I'm not skipping no rounds. I'm watching that. Okay, that, 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 that. that. Rosenberg Raw versus Danny Myers. What? That's crazy. That's a crazy battle. That's a crazy battle. Easy did his thing. I'm glad. You, I'm glad that you say that, bro. Truthfully, because you ain't rock with the other card type shit. But the, the nah. only battle to me, bro, is like, bro, that I don't even think Swamp is that tough, bro. But come on, bro. Who don't want to see a uh, URL based, like URL strictly nigga against the RBE strictly nigga. I just felt like that storyline was stupid. 
And now that storyline is not really there because Danny can battle anywhere he wants type shit. You feel me? But yeah, it's going to be a, a bar fest to a point if Rose, you know, pop out the way he did against Jazz and against Clips. But if not, Rose is gonna that's die. gonna be an underrated. That's gonna be better tonight. Rosenberg Raw versus Danny Mai is gonna be better tonight. Okay, okay, okay. I like to hear that, Speedy. I like to hear that, especially from you, bro. You a tough critic. You a tough critic, and, and I respect that about you too. So that's dope. That's dope. Yo, what do you think about this? Because I was talking to uh talking to the boy Kobe the other day, right? And I was just like, I feel like. This card, I thought initially it might do less numbers type shit, but he was like, "No, no, no, no." Edenes is gonna bring Philly niggas out, man. That like it's Edenes. Do you think that adds to the ticket sales just because Edenes is on the card type shit? Yeah, right. Especially because it's against Dot too. Niggas know it's gonna be an entertaining battle. Okay. okay, that battle did not excite me at all. At all, bro. At all. Like, um, but you're not I mean, feeling Enes versus Dot. I, it didn't excite me, bro. It didn't excite me, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. With only two weeks prep, it didn't excite me, bro. But I do now. The the more niggas explain it to me, it's like it's entertaining. And Enes is a Philly pillar of this shit, bro. Like, like. Nah, the, it might make the, the crowd more into shit. It might, right? Homesy and Prep, yeah. It's like, if you in tune with this shit like we in tune with it, it's Loud Boy against a former Loud Boy, and the former Loud Boy had Homesy in that ch- in that fake group, group chat, right? But not everybody really in Philly would know that whole storyline. So that don't mean as much. This might make... The battle even looked better, right? Ness versus Dot. Cuz. And Dot used to be Dot Mob. E Ness is Dot Mob. But either way, it's like that Philly legend shit is going to bring more people out. And the crowd may react to the battle even better than they would have to prep versus Holmesy. So I get it. I get it. I'm not going, though. I was going to go to the car. Now I'm going to just get the pay-per-view, though. Like, I'm, I was disappointed, bro. I don't know, man. It's crazy how the table's turned. Crazy how the table's turned. But, yo, you seen that Troy Martin card? I did. I did. I don't remember all of it, though, but I did see it. I did see it. There's a couple oh, of drones I fuck with. Jack Boy versus Prezi. Ace I mean on there or I'm tripping? Versus Henny number versus two. Versus Henny. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jag or Josh is on there versus somebody. Versus D-Dub. Uh, he got Reaper Rel on his jaw. Bro, we should have had D-Dub versus Reaper instead. Shout out to Jagger Jagger. That would have been funny. That would have been funny as hell, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, Jagger Jagger versus Stafford would have been crazy. Come on, bro. Like, Troy, what the fuck? Yo, it sound like, wait, did they battle on the Siege? I know they was on the same card. Jagger Josh and Stafford, I know they battle on the same card. Uh, I don't know if they battled each other. But yeah. Yo, 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 Speedy. I'm I'm about to I got a motherfucking uh, meeting coming up, bro. But yo, let's yo let's tap back in, maybe like, cause I got a topic that I I think will be good for 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 a chop up between me and you, bro. All right, bet. About scouts, like URL scouts, is they doing a job? Is they good at all? Type shit. Right, and right. we can talk, and let's do a whole separate lot about that We Go Hard card. Because like you said, bro, another thing you taught me, bro, if you keep talking about the shit that you're not happy with when it comes to URL and the politics, that is only giving them niggas traction. We need to, you right, bro. Let's do a whole situation about that We Go Hard card. All right, bet. All right, bet. I mean, yo, appreciate you for popping out, bro. Real right. Second episode views from the, you know what I mean? 
Nah, we said for an hour, you know what I'm saying? Great content. I'm going to clip it up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have you on the tube, you know what I'm saying? On the reels and shit, on the shorts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got some good content, real rap. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate your views. Like, you know what I'm saying? You somebody that, you know what I mean? You know. You know, you know, you know. You heard? Same to you, my boy. Like, for real. For real, bro. I appreciate you. All the shit, the advice you give me behind the scenes and all that, man. Like, we got to keep doing this, bro. We got to. Bro, rip. I mean, hit me up, bro.